The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the developers that dominate the MMO genre, the digital card game genre, the team-based first-person shooter genre, and the click stuff until loot pops out genre, comes the game series that defined the generic fantasy RTS genre for over a decade, Warcraft. Descend into the Tolkien for 13-year-olds universe of Warcraft, where you'll raise massive armies and formidable warriors and command them to destroy your foes by furiously mashing keyboard shortcuts like a coked-up court stenographer. Conquer the fabled world of Azeroth, a medieval fantasy land plagued by endless conflict because demons are assholes, where you'll choose sides in a battle between sort of good and sort of evil, maybe. Based entirely on which side has the more overpowered units, featuring The Alliance, your standard fantasy dream team of normal people, tall people, and short people. The Orcs, a race of terrifying steroid fiends who are actually pretty nice once you get to know them. The Scourge, the people that like their gruesome horror to be adorably cartoonish. And the race that's just more elves because they had already run out of ideas. I don't know, I guess make them elves, but purple? Whatever. Experience the history of Warcraft's brutal bloodshed firsthand as you dive into a series that spanned a decade while only really putting out three games, like the original title that started the franchise, which plays surprisingly well even 20 years later, the sequel that introduced an entire generation to the joys of the online RTS, if you could ever get it to connect to anything, and the third game that reinvigorated the genre with hero units, special troops with unique abilities that added even more micromanagement to a game that already felt like herding cats blindfolded and an unprecedented modding system that allowed immense player creativity and eventually led to the creation of the MOBA. That pretty much killed the RTS genre entirely. Good going, guys. Blast through the Warcraft campaign modes. Overly elaborate storylines designed to justify a series of epic battles. With boring story-focused chapters where you'll click a set group of units through a map until everything's dead. And much better levels where you'll actually build up your base then employ careful unit compositions and detailed tactics to take down your enemies, or just spend half an hour hitting the unit cap, then attack move to the other side of the map. While you experience the real draw of the Warcraft series, clicking on dudes until they say funny stuff. Me so horned, me hurt you long time. You're the king? Well, I didn't vote for you. Hey, puff puff give. Once you've developed your master strategies offline, Head into the online mode where none of that will work, and you'll face cheesy tactics like early timing attacks, mass summoner strategies, and tower rushes. But mostly, you'll just get destroyed by people who can hit keys faster than you, until you learn to stick to 2v2s like the casual that you are. Trust me, it's better for everyone this way. So strap on your replica Frostmourne, practicing Zug Zug, and get ready to craft some wars for the last time. Because the way this movie's reviewing, it looks like it just might bury the franchise forever. Starring Lich Bitch, 500 Pound Beef Patty, Make Azeroth Great Again, Glaives McEdgeman, Birdman, Short Stack, Most of the Porn, Tree Beard, Thrall in the Family, and a bunch of forgettable demons. Craft Macaroni and War, you know you love it. Huh, I wonder if the sheep say something funny too. Let me just click them a couple of times and oh, oh no, oh jeez, oh why? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. I am a shadow, the true self, and she who's juicy must be loose goosey. Psh, nothing personal, kid. I am Lelouch V. Britannia, and I command you to listen to my daddy issues. Call of Duty Infinite Dislikes.